All right. Um, he would agree what, with that. What, what am I rolling again? Guy. Persuasion. I don't have a persuasion. Then it's a d4 minus 2. And <laughs> a, I still don't know what's going on. No, minus 4. Minus 4. Minus... Oh yes, minus no. That actually, speaking to hobgoblins, so they're oh yeah, okay. That that's fine. So okay. a d4 and a d6 minus two right. on each because you're defaulting. It'll cover them all. Ooh. Oh, I aced the four. Of course you did. That's a good thing. Roll again. Ooh, a five then. There we are. Five. All right. Okay, you That's you a make a fair. Yes, you speak of the future, but what do you know of our past? Because our past is where we are taught are our glories. Our, ans our ancestors showed us the way, and we must follow that way. We have we have either strength, with either strength or smarts, we must return to the glories of being a, of, of being warriors. Warriors of the mind, perhaps. Warriors of the body, for Why others. Why do you look so angry? But, but still, yeah. we must restore our rightful empire. For that yeah. is our birthright. Okay. You, you make a valid point. Restore our empire. But how do you plan on restoring that empire Restore. when there is nobody to think for the empire? You need oh, yes. a great no. You will stop and let me speak. I let you speak. You let me speak now. We need to go before it's too late. Apparently, your over. inquisitive is very interested with these hobgoblins. Yeah, I don't. And I don't know what is being at, said. So I, <laughs> and I, I say in common. Uh, I look over at my hunter and I say in common, my friend, give me a minute. I have to talk to these people. These are my yes, people. Yes, but we need to go before it's too late. I don't care. Let me deal with this, or I will not deal with what needs to be dealt with. This is important to me. Okay, no. And then I turn back to my people and speak in whatever it is. Dark Odin, yes. And I say, now. I look angry. You make a valid point. Our history, our past, our past does say that we need, uh, does give us hope for the future and building a glorious empire again. But how can you build a glorious empire when everybody in it does not know what 2 plus 2 equals? How can you build a glorious empire on nothing but muscle? You can't. That is how we lost to begin with. That is how our empire fell to begin with because we had muscle. We had no brains. When you have brains and muscle working together and an honor can be forged. Honor. Yes, honor. Most definitely honor. But you need brains because without brains, empires will fall over and over and over. Learn. Stay in the mm. cities. Learn from the humans. Learn from all the other races. Become smarter. Become a smarter people. Then build our empire again. I have no qual I love the fact that you guys want to build a new empire for us. That is beautiful. That is unbelievably awesome. Heck, I'm on my way right now to start a whole new town. Because I am smart enough that they see the value of me being in the town. I am going to be the Not first so law longer. official in that town. I am going to be on the ground level of that town being built. Not Why? Because design. I have brains. Okay. If you guys Roll want... me a persuasion <laughs> test. And then we are going to uh, wrap this up. I don't get any bonuses for that. Oh, you oh. do get bonuses. Oh, oh he was never talking. Oh, no, mon no wonder I dozed off. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it Gion does sound like... Ah, oh, crap. You may... You still have shards. I know. I'm going to use one. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? You sure you won't yeah. don't want to use the carbon shard, which gives you d6 extra? I don't see why this is important because we're never coming back here. Well, not for a very long because time. Because it could be potential. Unless you're going to recruit them or something. That's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. What do you think that last bit was for? Mm. All right, rolling a d6, and for honesty's sake, I'm going to roll a d6. One of the, I'm going to borrow a d6 and roll it here. Oh, I was okay. going to roll. Okay. No, 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 no. This is for no, what kind for of him. token I get. It, you may uh, add your, you may roll your own persuasion test. Roll your oh, d6. Just a normal. Aced. Nice. 
and you get this one as well for so your uh, six total. Oh, you can re-roll re too. Roll. I thought you just get to uh, roll another d6 no, no, no. and add it. Uh, Richard, I need you to roll one more d6. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought I understood it correctly. Okay. So I got a five from the ace for the d4, and then I got a three right here. Could be an eight. Check. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And all right, you managed to steal the uh, steal the uh, preacher's shine, and to, and change his uh, speech into one more advocating more smart than you know brawn and uh, brawn and strength. <coughs> You've made a difference in this city, and what that, what that includes, I will tell you later. Okay, and I'm going to add as an end note, and if anybody wishes to come and build this city with me, you have all but oh, to ask. Oh, it's a city now? <laughs> mm -hmm. You all right. only have but to ask, and you will revel in the glory of the new city that we are building. All right. Good. And with all that barking and yapping done, you return to the hunter, probably feeling rather s smug as everybody is um, uh, wrapping their chest in an applause, in a warrior's applause. <laughs> that was awesome. I will say that. That was frickin' awesome. Without any persuasion, I just persuaded an entire group of hobgoblins not to riot and to maybe even come mm -hmm. and build a new city. Mm-hmm. And that's the power of the greater pro prophecy shards. Are you done? <laughs> I look at him and I say, yeah, I'm done stopping a riot. This seems all very uh, enthusiastic and special and what have you, but uh, I am a very uh, reasonable man and above all a gentleman. But if you if you disobey my orders again, I will find somebody else to take your place. Am I understood? I look at him and I say, and then I will have to find other ways of getting us people to build the city. Mm. Am I understood? I just... Yes, you're understood. But you have to Thank realize you. what I did. One of the hobgoblins come up to your hobgoblins, grabs by his shoulders... <laughs> Gives him a look and then headbutts him, as they do, as as, as as hobgoblins do. Do you respond in kind, Richard? Oh yeah, I headbutt him right back. And then scream at each other, and then they just. I'm leaving, and I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I walk away, and I said, and that could be one of our builders. That's very good, but this is a matter of life and death. If we don't hurry up, we our, our captain could be lost forever. I think that is a very important yes. thing. <coughs> it is. It is. Now that I've stopped the riot and mm. gotten us more workers, it is a very important thing. All Let's right. Go. Captain you, Bronzebeard um, is a valued employee of House Orion. I will not lose him to these criminals. No, we won't lose him to these criminals because you have the great investigator here. Yes, certainly. <laughs> Galen still looks angry, though. The great That's... investigator who just turned a people. Anyway, stop bragging, Mister Mister. Uh, oh, I can't really can't remember his name. Uh, stop bragging, <laughs> Mister Varlagesh. It does not suit you. It's Ralcor Val Varlagesh. Get it right, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you arrive at the Lonely Tower. I should do that. At the Lonely Tower, uh, which is a single slim tower, which is um, <coughs> which, which is rather uh, which is in the middle of Shan, so it's in the well-to-do neighborhood. <coughs> it is rather slim for one of those towers, and it's meant for more luxurious apartments. It is close to the famous Morgrave University. University that other university that other institutes of learning insists is uh, specializes in thieving and tomb robbing. More grave uh, students prefer to say that they are the foremost experts on Xandri. And there is your quarry. It's uh, the this tower is accessible by a uh, 
strained in by a broad uh, bridge and to the right of the tower you can see the sound that somebody has started building a bridge head but uh, as you enter the uh, enter the, the tower proper and you go through the corridors you see a a dwarven bodyguard that sizes you up and hmm. b that the place that the bridge head is located at has been a brick shot What's, uh, I, I go to the dwarf and I say, What seems to be the problem here, my good man? The lady looks at you and you go, Huh, she does have a beard. Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> I just say my good... I still, I still said it. I have no idea. So, she frowns a little, but... Oh, that's, uh, that's my master's business. What you looking for? Hmm. I'm, I'm looking. I'm wishing to speak to a resident here. I have business with the with the chap. Am I allowed to pass? Aye, but there's not much to pass through. I mean, there's just this short road here and the short hallway there, uh, here and there, and these stairs over there. Pass as you please, my lord. Hmm. Oh. All right then. Thank you. Have a good day. And I, uh, yeah, I leave. Okay, uh, as you you know wander around a bit, you you vaguely hear the sound of conversation. Uh huh. <coughs> <coughs> One moment. That gold. Um, you hear somebody with a deep voice saying, "That gold would um, would uh, would make sure that your next expedition goes well." And a uh, shorter and a uh, higher pitched voice, human, uh, more human than dwarf, goes, "I've sur I've survived mortal peril to get this marvelous uh, warforged, uh, sorry, eccentric artifact." Oh. Indeed, and the deep voice goes, "Hmm, uh, Mr. Shreve, we both know that this is untrue." And as you can as you can see, I am more than willing to be generous <coughs> in my. Okay. Well, well as, as tempted as your offer is, I, I I have to decline. Sorry. Hmm. That is most regrettable. Is there no way I can change your mind right now, sir? And you vaguely hear the clatter of metal. And the, the 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 shrill guy goes, and uh, no, no, thank wait, you, wait, please. Wait, wait. I wouldn't want to take this lavish gift from you uh, without anything to uh, give it back. Oh, but I insist. No, 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 no. I, I, I've got work to do. I've got to study. Why don't you? Uh, and you are busy, man. So um, goodbye. Where well, do we exactly then, uh, hear all this noise? Um, Romeo, notice. Yeah. And Damn it! I'm with him, so I'm gonna yeah. roll the notice as well. Go for it. My pencil just went uh, a wall on me. Uh, I only rolled a three. That's not good. Five. No, a seven. Excellent. Ah, yes, you have a plus two seven from alertness. Yeah, alertness. Yeah. All right, that is more than enough to define that this conversation takes place behind the door that the bo dwarven bodyguard Des was guarding. Oh, I walk yeah. back up. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I uh, I lean over to the hunter <coughs> and I say the sh uh, the bearded one is guarding that uh, the door. Is what about it? One. Yes, what about it? The, uh, where we need to go is the oh. door by the Oh, building. is that where that voice is coming from? Oh, yes. I see. Hmm. Yes, yes. Let me what? handle this. Let me handle this. And, and mm -hmm. uh, he, he, like, I, like, take out a, a, a piece of paper. It has nothing of words on it. It's, ju it's just his notes. But he likes mm -hmm. looking at it, and he goes up to the dwarf and says, Ah, I seem to have mistaken. The address of the chap I need to see is right over here. Yes, it's the door you're guarding. Uh, I seem to have mistaken. Luckily, I had my notes with me, and I put it I put it away again. Ah, it's good, to, good that your lordship has an extra pair of brains. 
Now, if you just be so kind as to wait until the master is done, we, I'm sure you can uh, go about your business as fast as you want. Hmm, I'm, I'm sorry, but we have very, very pressing matters, and this cannot wait. You have to enter immediately. Ah, I'm sorry, but I cannot oblige. My master is very... And then the door opens. Yes, what am I? You're here. And he said, ah, ah, you're here, my lord. Oh, and yes. Said, okay, <laughs> the dwarf ah, looks... Hold on. The dwarf looks up in the dwarven banker. Let me put it this way. This is a dwarf that dressed in the finest clothing. Something that would not, uh, something that uh, our hunter's family has worn in their best days. Mm -hmm. And he's just wearing it casually. He's got a very nice golden chain, but no rings, because that's way too easily stolen. Okay. And he just oozes wealth and richness. Okay. And he looks like somebody just pissed in his ale. Okay. I then... Wait, did he just we just he heard him made a transaction, uh, right? So we have to assume uh, he has the thing. No, you just heard this oh. uh, the shrill guy uh, declining to do the transaction. Mm. He was, and now he looks like you just pissed in his ale. Mm. Oh, in that case, I'm gonna leave him alone. I was gonna talk to him about it, but uh, in that case, all right. <laughs> I just, I just like, uh, I just nod my head, my lord. Um, you're looking shaky enough, and he uh, nods back and grumbles something that could be uh, my, my oh, lord. Oh, I tip my hat. I just remembered I was, I was wearing a hat too. <laughs> oh, he's wearing a beret, so he does the same, making it look a lot more, more politer. Mm -hmm. He looks at your motley crew, glares briefly at the hobgoblin. What motley and crew? What I only have the hobgoblin with me. I presume for, for uh, expeditions, uh, for the sake of coherency, that you take the, and the rest with you as well. Uh, I thought they were... We left them behind so they could work on the Warforge. That's what we did. Yeah. Well, you also, uh, you also uh, ask the people on the street a lot. And I think that nicely cancels each other out. Right? Oh, okay. Fair enough. That'll work. Yeah. Uh, and okay. of course, the dwarf gets a, uh, gets a, uh, also gets a respectful nod since, well, dwarf. Mm -hmm. That would be Grimgo. Anyway, uh, dee 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 dee. Right. The dwarf from Banker and his bodyguard leave you alone. And I enter. <laughs> okay. You enter. Ah! Who are you? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm sorry. Good day, sir. Are you? <laughs> I just I tip my hat. What are you doing Quickly. here? I seem to be. I, I I am interested in the artifact that you hold. I gather that it doesn't belong to you. But if you hand it over to me, I'll be certain not to alert the authorities. What do you say? Persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You. Wrote yeah, persuasion. I also fast talk him too. <laughs> Go for it. I I start talking about the intricate legal de legal details and that he could okay. that he could spend the rest of his days behind bars unless of course he hands it over to me. Um, the guy starts muttering to himself. Crap! Only a five. Okay, let me quickly grab my uh, dice of doom. Hmm. Okay. Roll me an agility, everyone in the room. What the? Because he just throws up his hands and goes, Karalaksk! Yeah. What is that? Uh, a six and a... A ten in total. You just made a mistake! Wait. Yep, he just made a mistake, but he makes it gloriously. I got a five. Okay, I need what about one the rest for. Of you? I need one for the warforge force and one for the dwarf. Ah, okay. They are apparently Dries, asleep. Nico, Dries. Nico? Yeah, yes, coming what? right up. Coming right up. Agility. <laughs> Agility. That's a D4. Are we there? Apparently, yeah, uh, yes, you are. <laughs> apparently, I'm also surprised. 
Dow said that because you guys were working on the Warforge, we were asking around the street. Basically, the time mm. canceled each other out, and we all came together. Oh, sweet. I aced that. Okay, I have a tree. Let's see if I'll ace. Uh, never mind. We've been touching uh, six. Not me. Okay, so uh, it would help if you put your uh, leave your scores down below and while oh, I sorry. calculate the results. Yeah, sorry, sorry. My okay. bad. Free for the dwarf. <sighs> oh, shoot. Um, I got a five. I aced. I, I rolled a six and a four. Six. I rolled a four and a two. Ace the uh, dwarf. So six for me. All right, uh, yeah, and five. and the Inquisitor has a five, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Um, I've completely forgotten what trappings in. Ah, yes, indeed. A sudden gale just pins you to the floor. For those who have gotten a uh, penalty, have gotten shaken dice. Okay. Unfortunately, the wind is not hard enough to blow away the hunter or the wolf force. He just used magic on you. That is a criminal offense. Oh yes, very much so. Well, it's attack the law official too. Oh yes, <laughs> you're not a law official. Yeah, I am. That was you're... part of the thing. I'm a detective. Um, no, you're, you're more like a freelance investigator. You're a yeah. freelance detective. <laughs> But you have friends in the uh, in yes. the war, so you can make things happen. I think now will be time for initiative. But I first, I I, fir I first shout to, uh, shout to him. You had your chance. You just assaulted the house Orion official. How about you? And I draw my rapier even this time. Well, next time, uh, in the once you have your card, you can draw actions and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to draw a card as well. Jake. Nope. Thank you. Nope, don't touch that. <laughs> this, this Queen of Diamonds is mine. Hey, somebody gets lucky. Check. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It's almost uh, flush. <laughs> okay. The fellow, the, the the shrill human in the red in the red robes with the squiggly lines and the long silver hair sees that his spell has failed to subdue all of them, he just goes, uh, uh, um, um, um. He casts a second spell, and leaps out of the window. Not so fast. While he's casting a spell, because apparently he can, f I don't know. Ooh, that's a good one. So, your wizard just leapt out of the tower, and for the viewers at home, this tower was surrounded on all sides by nothing but sky. For the first hundred yards. And then it's the Warforged. You, you may roll a spell crafting roll to see what kind <coughs> of spell he cast. Okay. Featherfall? Spellcasting. That is a D8. Ooh, I do like those odds. Actually, anybody can just jump out of a window and just float to safety, right? Uh, what makes you say that? Because Sharn. That is a good point. But if you m if you miss the bridge, you go splat. All right. Let's see what happens. A two and a three. Um, you've never seen this spell. Wait. Oh damn. The thing is, he was uh, casting while he jumped out of the window. So, uh, you're not sure what he did. It has something to do with wind, though. Okay. And now you may just act normally because the 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 storm gale in the room is not. Big enough to hold you down. Fair enough. Hmm. Well, I can't think of anything else, so I'm going to think that concludes my turn. Well, okay, so you leave... You jumped let out the window, but you yeah. can do something else. 
like, you know, hit him with a spell. Yeah, that reminds me. Yeah, do I, if I go to the window, do I see him? Uh, yes. He's falling down at speed. So it's not a flying spell unless he wants to go down. Okay. Let's see if I can hit him with an acid bolt. By the way, how long has it been since the last fight? Um, let's say an yeah, an hour because you were all busy working. Okay, well, in that case, do I have full power points again? You have you have nine power points. Okay. Oh wait, full power points because yeah, I because forgot. If I generate two per up, two per thirty minutes. Rapid recharge. Get it, people. Get okay. it. Okay. Yes. Anyway. Magic missile. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will want to fire a uh, acid bolt at him. All right. I'm going. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Let's see. Acts of violence will result in retaliatory action as the spell flies. And I roll like crap. Yeah, five. Five. So it works. Five is pretty good. Actually, yeah, you did. Yeah, let's see. Um, and now he you may roll. F- you you may now roll for uh, damage. Forgot to do. Doesn't six. he ro- need to roll for shooting too? Doesn't he first need to roll scrollcraft and then shooting? Oh no, no, just shooting. Oh, that's handy. Anyway, it's anyway in- damage. Confused. That's because this game does not want you to uh, roll a lots and lots of damage. <laughs> Oh wow! You almost sound like Woody Woodpecker. Oh <laughs> fucking hell! He's dead. <laughs> this dude's fucked. He's not getting his spell off. <laughs> That's nineteen in total. <laughs> That's a lot. Ow! Ow! That oh. guy is melted. He's a puddle. Yes. I am going to spend a, a shard to see if I can get a uh, a uh, uh, if I can make him save. Which dice <laughs> <I> is <should> luck? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> a one. Okay, that's another shard. <laughs> Hilarious. You know, yes. when you spend a shard, you should give the shard to the person that you're trying to save against. Woohoo! Mm-hmm. Aced. Yeah, Fuck. now he aced. Okay. 19, you said? Yes. Versus 13 would still be... 6. 6, six. that would be... Ah! He gets a wound. Wow, and is stunned. Wound. It's and better than going splut. Yeah. He's stunned. His spell doesn't go off. Actually, he already cast his spell. Oh. You said he was casting it as he jumped out. Yes. Never said it went off. That's what I was going on. But if you're willing not to give him a wound, I'm willing to uh, say that the spell never went off. No, I'm I'm content with that. Okay. He's got his spell. Right. Um, the dwarf. Then it feels like a mountain is pressing upon you. You have you have no way of maneuvering. It's like Every time you try to move, the wind just pushes that that arm back. Okay, I should sit down. You can can use your strength to break out of it, or you can uh, try and use agility to worm your way out of this tornado thing. I I go to the eye of the storm. So, Let strength me use or agility. My strength. Agility is crap. <laughs> I'm not going to say. Yeah, roll him. I'm rolling a tree. <laughs> You're stuck. <laughs> yep, I'm here for a while. It was my not mean. necessarily. God damn it, my pipe's out. <laughs> <laughs> You'll pay for that. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm not. Inquisitor is. You're, um, yes, I'm you're only... As stuck. Nope, you're only... You can move slowly. Now, is... Uh, I'm going to look around. I, I'm going to roll a notice to see if I can notice anything that could possibly help me pull myself up. 
Uh, you don't need to roll the notice for that. I'm just going to say the way. And there's a table right next to you which holds all manner of arcane devices, mostly alchemy, but also other uh, things of, you know, to the untrained eye, they would look like priceless artifacts. To you, they look like junk. 